Winning Cures Everything. Now for your hosts, Gary and Chris. Welcome, welcome. Winning Cures Everything Super Bowl preview show. The Kansas City Chiefs and the San Francisco 49ers. I'm Gary. And I'm Chris. And we have got a lot to discuss tonight. It's the last football game of the season, NFL or college. We uh we gotta break it down. We gotta get into it. We gotta figure out what side everybody wants to lean on. Uh, go over to winningcureseverything.com to find out more information about us. You can find our picks, previews, podcasts, videos, social media platforms. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter. If you're watching on YouTube, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave us some comments, let us know what you're thinking, which direction you're leaning. We would love to hear it. Give us your picks, what you want. Um, if you're on the podcast, make sure that you leave a nice review, five stars. Uh, we we will read them on the show after the Super Bowl is done, all that kind of mess. But we do appreciate you guys doing that. That helps us out a ton. The show, every week, brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. They got six incredible sports books. They got all kind of shows coming through town, comedy shows, they got concerts, all sorts of stuff. Always good acts coming through. They got good steakhouses. They got good golf courses. Go check out more information about all of it over at tunicatravel.com. It's going to help you out. I promise. You're going to do yourself a favor. Go to tunicatravel.com. Chris, I'm going to go on and give you the tail of the tape. Okay? Let's go. The 49ers, 13-3 and in the regular season. They won two games, so they're 15-3. and The Chiefs? 12 and 4 in the regular season. They won two games, so they are 14 and 4. Uh, the Chiefs are 11 and 5 against the spread. You can make that 13 and 5 if you'd like to. The 49ers, uh, 10 and 6 against the spread. They covered both ga- uh, both times in the playoffs, so 12 and 6 if you want to go that route. Uh, the line currently, Chiefs are a one point favorite at most books, I believe. Yeah. So now. I think there's still some one and a halves. You could probably get one and a half if you wanted to take yeah. the 49ers. Um, so, obviously, do your shopping if you want to. Uh, the total, 54 and a half. Now, that has come up from 52 and a half. So, lots to dig into here. Uh, you want me to give you the tail of the tape as far as actual stats go, or do we want to talk about each individual uh, uh, section of things that matter? However you want to do it. Let's let's I'm talk about flexible. some stats. Let's talk about some stats. Uh Rushing offense, rushing defense, uh, the 49ers are ahead in both of those, and it, it's really not even close. Nope. Um, the 49ers in rushing defense lead the Chiefs by .4 yards per attempt. So 4.5 is what the 49ers give up per attempt. 4.9 is what the Chiefs give up. On offense, the 49ers get 4.6 per carry. The Chiefs get 4.2. Now, obviously... The Chiefs, their running game, that's not what makes them tick. That's not what makes them go. So that 4.5 that the 49ers give up may not be that important because you may not see a ton of running from the Chiefs. Now, you'll see some. Obviously, you want to be balanced. But why be balanced when you got Pat Mahomes, right? That's right. On the other side, passing offense, passing defense. This may surprise you. 7.9 yards per pass attempt for the 49ers. 7.8 for the Chiefs. 5.2 yards allowed per pass attempt on defense for the 49ers. 6.1 allowed for the Chiefs. That doesn't now, surprise me. The first stat is a liar. 7.9 to 7.8? It's a liar. It's it's a the, real stat. It's, it's a, a real stat, but it's it has to do with the fact that the 49ers don't exactly pass the ball that much. He threw the ball eight, eight times. Eight times against the in Packers. The, in, in, the, in, the, in the NFC Championship game. Yeah. So... They are extremely efficient, yeah. which helps those numbers look really big. But if he threw it 18 times, which is probably the NFL standard, yeah, then those numbers would go down considerably. So now I no, no, no one loves Jimmy, <laughs> Jimmy Garoppolo, Garoppolo like you, like yeah. I do. Nobody. <laughs> he's he's I, a handsome man. I, I assure you. I assure you that that I feel as if I lost a lot of weight, I would look exactly like him. We're both Italian. <laughs> He's a little bit darker complected than me. I wish I had his skin tone. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm just, you know, a couple yeah. hundred pounds more. I he, He's not Patrick Mahomes. 
No, no, he's certainly not. Let, let's talk about, uh, it, so all of that stuff combined, let's talk about just basic total offense, total defense. Okay. All right? Uh, total offense, the 49ers get 6.2 yards per play. That's really good, by the way. The Chiefs get 6.4. That's really good as well. The 49ers actually average more yards per game than the Chiefs do. Now, it's only by 2.1 yards. Yeah, but, but Mahomes didn't play several games. Agreed. And he played hurt several games. Agreed. So, total Jimmy, defense. Jimmy played all 16, 17, 18 games. Let's let's talk about defense. I had, had to count on my fingers to get those last two. Exactly. Uh, not a good sign tonight. Total defense, 4.9 yards per play allowed by the 49ers, 5.6 yards per play allowed by the Chiefs. Okay. 282 yards allowed per game by the 49ers, 349.6. So, you do a lot Chiefs. of yard stuff. You know the stats I care about. Points. Points. Because uh, because the 49ers are a very much a bend don't break defense oftentimes. Right. They'll give up yards to people and then you get in the red zone and you're either settling for field goals or you're not even getting a field goal off. True. True. So what do they look like? Do we have any stats points per play, points per game? How about yards per point? Sure. I'll take okay. anything that involves points more than just yards. Yards per point. You'll take yards to the bank. Yeah. Yards per point on offense. The 49ers, 12.7 yards per point. I like that. The Chiefs, 13.4. Okay. So fairly similar. Uh, yards per point on defense. That's the this is the one I wanted to hear. The 49ers, 14.6 yards per play on de, or yards per point on defense. The Chiefs, 18.2. Yeah. Okay. So this is a separator. Yeah. They're both going to give up. I would say close to equal yards. The NFL game is such an offensive game. Holding teams to, you know, 200 yards passing or, or 100 yards rushing is just non-existent. Yeah. I mean, teams are going to get lots of yards on you all the time. It's what happens when you get down to the dick cut. What happens when you're trying to stop somebody from scoring? That's the only thing I care about in this game from a defensive perspective. Yeah. And an offensive perspective, really. And the the Chiefs give up uh, a ton of yards. They're not great in the red zone defensively. Now, right. they actually play between the 20s pretty good. Yeah. They, they I mean, they, they play really well in the 20s, between the 20s. Industry standard in the league, I bet they're a, quite a bit above average. Yeah. But but when you get in the red zone, I would guess, ye, like, and I'm, I'm sure you don't have, like, league rankings, I would guess nah, I, I would know. guess they would be at the lower end of average on that. You know what I could uh, I can I, I can I, pull it up. I think I think I see teams score on them if they get in the red zone far more frequently than not. Now are are you looking for red zone numbers or are you looking for basically yeah. Let's because see. I don't care what happens between the twenties. I care what happens twenty to the end zone. So let's see. Total defense. Let's see about red zone efficiency. Because that's where this game's going to be won and lost. Uh, scoring defense. Did it, uh, all right. Opponent red, sco uh, red zone scoring percentage. That's what I How care that? about. That's what I care about. Scoring percentage in 2019, Kansas City actually. Pretty good. Number eight. No way. Number eight. No way. 51.56%. Uh, San Francisco. 61.36, which makes sense if you think about the yards per point, right? Yeah. Because Kansas City, 18-whatever yards. So the so they give up a lot of yards in between the 20s. Yeah. But when you get down into that red zone, Kansas City stops That's you more often okay. than not. I was wrong. That shocks me. I would not have guessed that at all. I would have thought they would have been 15. Uh, as far as the yards per right, point. Right, right, right. Average, I would say the average league got 32 teams. Starts around twelve and goes from like twelve to sixteen. I would thought they would have been at the lower end of that average. Uh, Two thousand nineteen. This is yards per point margin. So this includes offense and defense put together. Yeah. Kansas City is number two. That doesn't surprise me because their offense is so explosive. Right. Four point six is uh, the yards per I was point just margin. Trying to figure out defense for both of them. San Francisco is two point three. Uh, but if you look at the last three games, San Francisco well. is actually. Yeah, but that's you can't Let's just see. look at the last three games. The, the, well, they, agreed, but they these are playoff the, games. They beat like, the hell, they beat the hell out of both those teams. Yeah, yeah. It, it, well, it was only two, and then they played Seattle. So they played well, three playoff teams. But I'm just saying the two playoff teams they 
They beat the hell out of them. Agreed. And they ran the football for like 600 yards. I mean, this is big fat guy likes offensive linemen, just porn, basically. Uh, San just Francisco. Getting after somebody yeah. and running it down the throat. And we're going to run the same four plays over and over and over and over. My question is, will Kansas City be able to stop, stop that? Stop them. I, so this is where this game's going to come down to is, you and I talked about this off there. We're going to talk about it on here. Everyone's going to immediately say that, well, they shut down Tennessee, and Tennessee has a great run game. No, no, Tennessee has a great running back. Yeah, it's it's a lot different. We're having different conversations. What people need to know about San Francisco, and I'm sure if you're following all of the NFL media days, umpteen writers have written about this, so you can go find these articles anywhere you want. Kyle Shanahan runs a different type of running game blocking scheme. It's a yes. zone blocking scheme. I'm not smart enough to know about it. I can't really explain it. I know this. Nobody touches his running backs until they're three yards past the line of scrimmage. Nobody. I don't know how this shit works, okay? I just know that when I watch it, average running backs every year in this blocking scheme end up top four or five rushing in the league. Yeah. And it's just, this is the reason Molster has been on six teams cut by everybody, it, an absolute nobody. They just need a body that can don't fumble, be fast, and learn the blocking scheme so you know how to follow your blocks, and you have to know where the cuts are. This is not one of those things where there's a hole, I got to hit it, and you just go straight downhill. That's not how Kyle Shanahan blocking works. It is the hole is here, and then it's going to move here, and then you've got to cut here. And if you make those two cuts – and you're not running at an incredibly high rate of speed, you're actually just trying to get through the maze. But once you get through the maze, it's you and DBs. Uh, as far as adjusted, li- or, uh, yeah, adjusted line yards go, you can find this over at footballoutsiders.com. Uh, what, fo- or what this uh, adjusted line yards is, is basically um, it's not running back yards, it's not anything like that, it is the level of blocking and the it's trying it's the best way we have to grade offensive line yeah. play not yeah. necessarily individual men but play here right? we go all right so uh adjusted line yards based on regression analysis the adjusted line yards formula takes all running back carries and assigns responsibility to the offensive line based on the following percentages losses are 120% value 0 to 4 yards is 100% 5 to 10 is 50% 11 plus is zero. zero. So it doesn't count like they don't an care. 80 once yard you run. Get, once you get past the linebackers, no one cares what happened from that point. Right. Because you're already a home run. Right. I mean, that's that's a home run. Um, San Francisco is number eight in the league in that uh, 4.53. Uh, the ones that are one? above them, number one is the Saints. Okay, that uh, doesn't surprise me at all. Dallas is number two. Okay. Baltimore is three. So Tennessee, four. The, th- the four best offensive line in the league. Yeah, basically. I mean, that's that's just pure raw talent at the offensive line position, right? Correct. Uh, Kansas City is number 28. That doesn't surprise me at all, but their running backs are really small and just crazy fast. Yeah. They yeah, run the ball much. for no yards, no yards, no yards. Bam. Let's see. Now, adjusted yards. sack rate. This is a different thing. Uh, Kansas City is number four, 4.9%. Well, yeah, Mahomes is pretty elusive though. San Francisco is number 15 at 6.9%. Yeah. yeah. And that makes You you have a, you have a quarterback that is hard to touch as opposed to a quarterback that's Tom Brady. He just he stands yeah. there and he finds the open guy. Exactly. Now, all these stats that we've given you, you can listen to all of this different stuff and make your own decisions yeah. on what you would rather do. Uh one thing a lot of people would like to know is okay, well, what works better? The better offense or the better defense when it comes to the Super Bowl? This surprised me. DVOA, which is uh, defense adjusted value over average. This is that is a overall defense and the value that it brings to the team. Right. So, and and it goes for offensive defense adjusted value and defense defensive adjusted value. So basically, uh, the metric is a quick and dirty way to hash out a surface view. If you go back over the last seventeen Super Bowls, that's a lot. The teams ranked higher on defense are eleven and six. That's that that's defense wins championships. That's right? pretty like, astounding. People have been talking I, about I that thought, for years. I thought it was gonna be more the defensive side. I would not have thought it would have been 
like double, two out of three. Double the defensive side. Um, the last four straight have been won by the better defense. That didn't surprise me at all. I, I knew that, but I knew my pads. And if you're curious, the 49ers are the better defense. They are number two in DVOA. The Chiefs are number 14 yeah. in DVOA. That's when I was guessing where they fell defensively. I thought they were pretty good between the 20s and bad in the red zone. And maybe I'd have those flipped, but I figured defensively. They're pretty bad between the 20s and pretty good in, in the, the red, red zone. zone. Yeah, I've, yeah. I, yeah that, that surprises me. But anyway, neither here nor there. Um, yeah. As far as the offense goes, the 49ers, number seven in the NFL. Uh, the Chiefs, number three in offensive DVOA. So that number, not as important as that defensive number, uh, top three offenses have a three and seven record when not facing another top three ranked offense. Uh, top five ranked offenses have a one and five record uh, when facing a top five defense. That's everybody wants the chief. Not not everybody. Obviously, there are some 49ers fans out there. The majority of the public, the people that care. Uh, would like to see Andy Reid get a Super Bowl. I'm one of those. The the public. I'm 100 percent one of those. Wants Patrick Mahomes. Yes. To win a Super Bowl because I, he's fun. I completely second you that. There's All not that. a whole lot on this 49ers team that is shiny. Unless and, you're a nerd who likes Kyle Shanahan. Yeah. I will tell you, I love. It. I wish my brain knew how to work like his. Now, same thing with Andy Reid. That guy's been doing this stuff a long longer, time, longer than Kyle's been alive. Um, but. He, it's one of those things where I'm going to miss the Super Bowl. I've never done that as long as I can remember being alive. Okay. Like, I don't know how early memories will go back, but I remember I've never missed a Super Bowl. Okay. I'm going to miss this one. If I get You're also going to be at Disney, so that's right, I understand. That's right. If I, if I get back to my room and I turn on Sports Center as we're putting the kids to bed and I see that the Chiefs won the Super Bowl. I'm going to be extremely happy yeah. for Andy Reid and for Patrick Mahomes. Makes sense. But I I think the 49ers have been the best team all year from top to bottom. There is one position where they are not the better team. And that is the most important it's position. It's the most on, important yeah. position on the field. But, but that but that hasn't mattered in years past. I've watched Tom Brady destroy the league. Destroy the league in 2008. I watched him wreck the NFL like I've never seen somebody wreck it. I remember sitting at the Beau Rivage with a dealer trying to convince me that the Patriots were going uh, that the that the Dolphins would cover and it was like a 24 point line. I mean it was yeah. like the highest line in the history of the NFL. And I told him, this team going to beat them by 40. And I made a little side wager with the dealer. And when it was done, they beat them by like 46. They just beat the hell out of them. This team destroyed the NFL for a league. And they got into the Super Bowl against an 8-8 eight and eight wild card team. That had a pretty good defense. And they couldn't score. Yeah. It's not like they didn't go up against good defenses. They played some top five defenses in the league. They played defenses better than the Giants were that year. Didn't yeah. matter. You got two weeks to prepare. The defense always catches up to the offense. Second time, I was blown away, baffled, couldn't understand the Super Bowl outcome. Denver Broncos, Peyton Manning, first or second year in Denver. He breaks all of Tom's records Second year in Denver. from 2007-2008. Breaks all of those records, destroys the league like no one I have seen except like for sixty touchdowns Tom did it. or whatever. Just just broke every record Tom had for a single season record. Just destroyed the league. Went up against some ho hum quarterback that was in his second or third year in the league and the Legion of Boom and imagine which was that. the number one DVOA team in Could the own defense in the not country. Score, yeah. It it wasn't that this was a you know. 28 to 35 ball game couldn't score Gary I saw the two best offenses that I can remember in my lifetime with the two best quarterbacks I'm partial to a few others other than Peyton but Peyton's in the conversation yeah two of the top top five best quarterbacks in the history of the world who's ever been born on this planet and neither one of them could score when they went up against the better defense and one of them 
wasn't even a great defense. Yeah. Was it wasn't even like top five defense in the league that year. No, I mean you're you're hundred percent right. So this stat is not one that lies. It's one that I kind of think I believe in and I kind of think I buy into. And if I got to make a pick tonight, I'm going to go with Jimmy G. I, now, hold, before, we making, before, we're not making picks. We're, we're not making picks yet. I'm going to tell you. What else is there? Uh, hold on. The number one prediction site against the spread this year okay. was a site called cleanuphitter.com. This is stuff I don't care about. They went 139 and 108 against the spread. That is a 56.3% winning percentage on their computer-generated numbers. That's fine. They, they toss everything in. I get it. And they do whatever. They came out with a 25-21 to 21 score for the 49ers. That doesn't surprise me. I'm, I'm going that direction as well. That's I, that's our official picks. Is we are both going 49ers. We are both going to win this game. Uh, the one thing I that, would go and I would definitely go under the 45 and a half. 54 and a half. 54. Yeah. And a half. If it's 45. Well, I've got dyslexia. <laughs> Can't uh, read half no, the time, I, yeah. I am. I am so sure of the one thing that always translates is running the football and, and playing great, good defense and great great defense. And the team that does both of those things better yeah. is the 49ers. Now, they are the new, you know, I, I don't want to call them a flash in the pan. We're, we're not used to the 49ers no, being a dominant fo- kind of football team. Football is different today than it was when Peyton and Tom had their years where they just destroyed the league. Yeah, Football is different today than that year, those years. So everybody kind of has a good offense now, and so, it you know, it might be a thing where offenses have caught up to these defenses – um, I I don't I just I just trust in this 49ers team. I think they're going to be able to do what I think the Titans wanted to do, which is we're gonna keep Patrick Mahomes on the bench. Yeah, and we're gonna run the football down your throat. And I know the Titans couldn't run it, but the Titans run a completely different offense. Yes. And that's a team that got away from the run as soon as they got down by this much. Yeah. Completely abandoned it. Kyle will not do that. Well, and, and on top of that, the the 49ers defense is significantly better than the Titans defense. Oh, yeah. Like no, they, no, they just yeah, are. Like they, they, don't get me wrong. Yeah, they're they're more I was gonna say marginally better. Yeah. They're they're substantially better. They're substantially better. That's what I need to say. Now, Patrick Mahomes has shown up big time against good defenses. Like he does it all the time. Yeah. He's um I mean, if you just go and look at all the different stats, I mean, play action. Uh, Mahomes, 65%. Uh, his rating is 105. The San Francisco defense gives up a rating of 94%. Um, you know, the league, it's somewhere in the middle there. Like, Mahomes is is just ridiculous. Against teams, like against top 12 defensive pressure teams, Patrick Mahomes, 66.9% completion percentage, 7.8 yards per attempt, eight touchdowns, three picks. And he gets 20 rushing yards a game against non top 12 uh, pressure teams, 64% completion rate, 25 touchdowns, two interceptions, but still, still really good yeah. against pressure. Um, against teams with a, uh, uh, let's see, top 12 passing EPA. So, what do we say EPA was? We were just talking about this. Oh, expected points. Sure. Expected points per attempt, 71%. Completion percentage okay. against non top twelve, only sixty three. He had eight touchdowns, two interceptions against those. Uh, he's unreal. Like he's just unreal. So if he comes out and has a ridiculous game, then okay. But the other side of this is that defense has got two weeks to figure him out. Here, here's and and here's where I stand. And this is where I'm afraid of this 49ers pick. And it's strictly because I think I could see the 49ers winning a close game. They, there are only three outcomes. There are only that, three that are, outcomes that yeah, can happen four. in this game. There's not four. That's right. I could see the 49ers winning a close game. I could see the Chiefs winning a close game. I could also see a world where the Chiefs blow out the 49ers. 
I there, could not see one where the 49ers there, blow there up is no time. world where I think the 49ers could win by more than two scores. I, I just I couldn't see I, more than than a touchdown. Well, yeah, that's based that's two scores. Uh, that's a good point. Okay, okay. yeah, you got a, I didn't you say got a 10, valid point. Is that about two scores? Yeah. I didn't say fourteen. Um, so I just I just think I that's the only thing that scares me is there's a world where Patrick Mahomes says I am the king and I'm gonna take my crown now. Chiefs fans don't get upset with this, and I'm gonna tell you why. There is no doubt. In my mind, I've watched this league for the last couple of years. I've seen this. If you told me right now, and I don't get this year, and the Chiefs are in the Super Bowl this year, I'm not counting this year. So if they win it this year, it doesn't matter. In the next three years, will Patrick Mahomes win a Super Bowl? I would bet a large sum of money that if Andy Reid stays the coach and and Patrick Mahomes stays healthy, then he's going to get a ring. Yeah, because there's nobody else in this league that is going to stop him. There's no new blood coming in. That's, I'm not saying he's going to win all of them in the next three years. I'm just saying that in one of these next three years, he's getting that ring. Russell Wilson's good. Russell Wilson's great. Lamar Jackson, great. All these other teams have some good players and good teams around them. This guy is special. And there's, it's only a matter of time before he takes this league. He's already taken the league by storm. Yeah. But where he actually gets the crown, he takes the scepter, and he, it's just it, there's a coronation of he is the greatest football player right now. Uh, for Chiefs fans, if you want to look forward to next year, if you were to lose this one, uh, remember the most important stat that we talked about was defensive DVOA. In 2018... They were the number 26 team in the NFL in DVOA. This year, they're number 14. They are moving in the right direction. Yes. But San Francisco, man, <laughs> this team. That's right. They were, San Francisco was 23 last year, and they're number two this year. Like, that is just absurd. Yeah. And so we're, we're just we're making a pick based on what we think. And and I I just think that run game is going to keep Patrick Mahomes on the bench. You know what? Um, and I think that defense is good enough to stop them and slow them down. Not maybe not stop them completely, but slow them down. The twenty one to twenty four twenty five score that makes complete sense. This is not going to be a shootout in my world. Off of the Super Bowl, I got a little trivia thing for you, right quick. I just want to see if you can answer it because I think uh, I think the listeners will be surprised by this as well. Okay, defensive DVOA. I want you to guess the number five team. I'm going to read you number one through eight. Okay? Okay. Without number five, I want you to guess five. I got to I gotta miss the one. One is New England. Two, San Francisco. Three, Pittsburgh. Four, Baltimore. Five. And then six is Buffalo. Seven, Minnesota. Eight, Chicago. Who is number five? New Orleans? Nope. New Orleans is number 11. Okay. <laughs> I, was, I was just, I mean, I was guessing. That uh, it maybe. Maybe this will help you. They were dead last last year. <laughs> I'm trying to think of who was really bad. I mean, I thought the Patriots. Patriots were 31 last year. No, last year the no, Patriots were two uh, years, 16. Two years ago they were. Yeah, 31. two years. Um, this is the team that the made... Raiders? This is the team that made the biggest jump. Uh, the 49ers made a so, so it's made not, second. So it's not the Raiders. Not the Raiders. Uh, Raiders are... I don't know then. I Way you, back. I Waiters you. are uh, You want me 31. to take one more stab? Yeah, t- give me one more. Is it a bad team? They said good DVOA. They're eh. <laughs> that, that hurt me. My, uh, my guess was going to be the Dolphins because of how they finished the season. Nope, but the Dolphins. That, that, but that, if you told me that. But that Dolphins would be, are dead last. That's a bad team. That has to be all because of what happened at the beginning of the year. Yeah, it's got to be. Because the end of the year, they were pretty damn good yeah, on they, defense. They, they did good. They did well. <laughs> um. All right, yeah, that was that was a swing. Give, give um, me one more, okay? Because I I still don't think that you will. I don't think that you'll get this. Oh, is it the Packers? Did, was the no. Packers in the list? Uh, no, no, no. The Packers are fifteenth. Okay, no, then that was it. I swung and I missed. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I would not have guessed that. That's, I, I could have gotten four more guesses and I wouldn't have got them. They were thirty-two last year. They were number five. They were year. that bad. They were that bad. You know what's insane? And you know what they added? Yeah, they uh they added uh, uh White. Uh, 
Well, Devin White, but I mean, uh, who's added, the coach? Uh, they added Devin White. Uh, Wilkes? No, Bowles. They yeah, added they Todd would, Bowles. Oh, yes. They added so. Todd. Okay. We'll give Todd Bowles some credit. <laughs> but we're going to give Devin White the rest. He's the quarterback of the defense. If no, you add sense. a court, if you took an offensive team that was 32 in offense and you replaced the quarterback and you replaced the coordinator. That's a good point. Everybody in the world would say that quarterback's the best quarterback in football. True. True. Change the quarterback of the defense. You went from. DFL to number five? Yeah. Big, big difference. Uh, Talk to me. Over, under, we're going under, right? I'm I, I'm going under because I Super Bowls well. always come in under. Yeah, 54 and a half seem like a lot of points. <clears throat> they just they just do. Well, because the defenses have two weeks. to, And I understand the Both offenses sides. do as well. Both sides have two weeks to prepare, and it just tends to go under. Of those two scenarios, if it's a Kansas City close game, it's going to go under because the 49ers aren't scoring a lot. I just don't think the right. 49ers are scoring 28 points, okay? If the uh, if it's a 49ers close game, once again, it's going under. The only way it goes over is that one scenario where the Chiefs blow them out. Uh, points per game this but year. that blowout could be 28 to 14. Yeah. Like yeah, that, no, you're right. Like, that could be the blowout, and you're still under by a lot. Points per game this year. San Francisco, number two, Kansas City, number three. But if you look at the last three games, San Francisco, 30 points per game. This. I know, I know. But Can- I Kansas City, 39 points per game. Yeah. Now, obviously, they had the 51-point blowout of the uh, yeah. um, Texans. Yeah. Well, so. But also, also you have the blowout of the... the Titans. The, not the Titans. The, um, the other team. The 49ers blew out Packers. Yeah, yeah, the 49ers, like they, but, like they the, but the, it was 37 to 20. I mean, it, but they, they beat the hell out or of Or whatever the score ended up being. Was that it? Yeah. 37 they, 20. They let them come back late, but that game was over. That's all. Like, if you no, took 37 out, 20 was the Vikings game. If you took out whatever. garbage time, both of those games are complete disasters and, and, and skew all numbers that don't count. Ah, okay. I can understand. And then all those yards and all those points they gave up at the end of those games, they don't matter either. <laughs> no, you're right. You're right. Uh, the the 49ers this is, offense. This is why. I, this is why I have such a love hate relationship with analytics. Uh, yeah, because it's you because can make that them was kind a of thirty five to nothing ball game, and then they give up twenty points at the end of the game when it. Well, but this is matter. this is just points per game. This isn't no, like what they just, give up. Just, I know, but like, I'm just telling you, this is why stats. This is why stats lie, and you have to look for the liars. If you don't watch the game, you don't know who's lying. So we're both going 49ers. I'm going 49ers. I'm not speaking for you. I'm going 49ers. I'm going 49ers. So we are both going 49ers, and we are both going under. Now, that has not bode well in our gambling picks all year. I think it's, I think in the playoffs it's done okay. Like Obviously, the first round was awful. Hey, I think but, I'm dead 500 on the playoffs. Uh, oh, that, that are you? team that I – what did I get? I got uh, – I picked Tennessee against Kansas City. I did, too. So I missed that one. I did, too. Uh, I went 1-3 and three the first week. I went 3-1 and one the next week, so I was 4-4 four and four at that point. I was 4-4. Four then four. I went 1-1. One and one. I'm 5-5. I mean, five five. Yeah, we're 500. Yeah, so we're 5-5. We're five five. This game matters. Yeah. No, it definitely does. Um, the uh, the other bunch that I was talking about, uh, cleanup hitter, 2-0 um, and oh last week. Three and one the week before, um, and I don't have their stuff listed. But either either way, I mean, fifty six percent for the for the full season. Call me when they hit sixty two. <laughs> back to back years. <laughs> Call me when that happens. Yeah, but they're picking two hundred plus games. If you're picking two hundred plus games, hitting sixty two. Well, I picked five games a week over sixteen seventeen. So. so Almost 100, 160. And then I picked every playoff game, 11-0. and 0. Booyah. Yeah, you did pretty well last year. You did pretty well last year. But that doesn't mean I'm any good at this. That doesn't mean that people should actually listen to me. Or That's, oh, hang on. that's true. You Make your listen, own decisions. You can listen or not. That doesn't mean <laughs> you should pay me for my picks. No, no, no. I no agree, but this is, cleanup one. hitter is a, a free analytics site anyway. I'm, like, just, they, I'm just telling you. They're not a tout. You do, you do what you want to do. And don't do it because these guys are doing that and they're really good this year. And what or don't do it because we're doing it or telling you to do it. Yeah. Do what you want to do. If you're really betting money, it's your money. That's a very personal, intimate thing. 
You want to put a Lincoln down? Be my guest. You want to put 500 down? 10,000? That's up to you, man. That's your life and your world. <laughs> but don't do it because I told you to, or he told you to, or these other nutsacks told you to. Yeah. They don't matter. Yeah. We're just trying to inform you of... We're having a good time talking yeah. about football. We're, we're talking about what the likeliest outcome would be, right? 57%. <laughs> When you're just betting on numbers, man, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Back back to back sixty two. Yeah. That's hard to do. Didn't do it this year. No, no. But, but I back knew to I back, would. Hell, yeah. I, I'm surprised I'm not substantially worse than I am. Yeah. Because at some point in time these things just swing. Oh yeah. You go sixty two percent back to back years, they cut you off in Vegas. Oh yeah. They just say no. You can't play here no more. Now you're right about that. You're right about that. All right, that is going to wrap up our Super Bowl preview for the Chiefs and the 49ers. What Super Bowl number is this? I never pay attention to any of that. It was like 56, 50. There's an L, an I, and a V. So it's something for, it's 54. 54. Okay, there you go. We're we're getting there. I'm a moron. (laughs) There's an L, an I, and a V. I know what the IV means. (laughs) That's four. That means four, and then the I'm L is fifty. It, and that's de- yeah, that's deductive reasoning. There you go. <laughs> Could have just said fifty-four, and y'all would have thought I knew what I was talking about. But I let you know, I'm really just an idiot. <laughs> that is wrapping it up. Of course, go over to winningcureseverything.com. Get all of our picks, previews, podcasts, videos, etc. There, uh, we're on Facebook. We are on Twitter. You can find us there. Obviously, if you're watching this on YouTube. You can see it all right there on the screen, our Twitter handles, everything else. Uh, Go check it out. Do us a favor if you're listening on the podcast. Make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure that you leave a nice five-star review on Apple Podcasts. And make sure and go over to tunicatravel.com. Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. They got cool shows. They got great sports books. They got like awesome places to eat. And the golf course is really nice whenever it warms up. So go check it out, tunicatravel.com. Hopefully, within the next week or so, we will let you guys know about our plans for the live shows uh, and our meetups and whatnot for the NCAA tournament. We're going to be back down there again for the first two days, the first round, or I guess the round of 64, I guess is what it's called now. Sure. Um, but we'll be down in Tunica hanging out for that, so hopefully you guys can come visit. Um, stay up with us. Stay tuned with us, because uh, we're going to be doing props. We're going to be doing all kind of stuff for the rest of the week, and then after that, in the off season. There's still plenty to talk about. We're talking college football. We're talking NFL news. There's going to be talking, news and there's going to yeah. be sports. UFC, boxing, all that. we got some big stuff we'll coming up. We'll cover NBA. So we'll cover NCAA. We will talk everything. So make sure you stay tuned in, especially if you're on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Leave us some comments. Uh, we will see you all again later on this week. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.